Alright, uh, I got my Swedish M35 rifle with my target sight here. We're at the 50 yard range. And I'm using the most accurate load that I did uh, when I did my video on working up the test load. I wanted to change the powder, but I loaded the remainder of the box of bullets with the most accurate load with that powder. And we're going to take this gun out here and see what she does. 50 yard. I'm going to put two down there. See how she shoots. How high or where we're at since I got the papers and all that up there so I can see fairly easily. Why don't we want to go up in there? Okay, I don't know why they want shell and want to feed. Nice shooting round. Not that terrible on the recoil. Take a look. Alright. We have our Creedmoor grouping. And I got three rounds off. So we're a tad bit... That's not bad. About three, four inches high from the point of aim at 50 yards. But we are off center four inches to the left. And it looks like that sight got knocked around too. I don't know if I brought a punch and a hammer. I don't think so. So have to may have to drift that front sight over. It isn't quite lined up on center. Alright so that's our start there. I may head down to the hundred yard. So I don't know if I brought a drift. I want to drift in. I ain't going to waste the ammo. Oh, we're in luck. I was able to find a hammer and a drift in my shooting bag. So I tapped that front sight over and realigned it with the notch. It's rather loose. I may have to uh, lock tight that in once I dial it in. Well now I taped up all the holes, so we'll see if, where we're at now. Okay, there were three there, now there's two there. So I moved it over a bit, but it looks like it has to go over some more. Like I said, it sight's kind of loose. Let me make sure it didn't move. Okay, a little bit more of an adjustment. Let's see what we got. Okay, there we go. Two of them right there. So maybe a hair over, get it on, but it's better than it was. And now we're ready to go to the 100 yard. 
Okay, we got our Swedish Mauser. I'm going to try to put five rounds down at 100 yards. We had to knock the front sight around a little. But we're going to see what we do. Sight, the rear sight set for 200 meters. I'm not going to probably get out there today. I'm getting tired with some of the other stuff I'm doing. But we're going to do 100 yards, see if I got the front sight, drift it over, and see what it does at 100. seems to stick. Okay, our M38, not too bad at 100 yards, a little spaced out. Uh, that bore maybe after 118 years shot out a little, but Still not that terrible of a grouping for an old gun. Uh, a little more work, maybe some work on the reloads I can get better. Maybe, uh, you know, I'm kind of at the end of the day here, so I'm not at my best at holding it tight. Okay, I got three odd rounds for the Swedish gun. I'm just going to burn them off. Try to use them to the wind and bring them down into the to the bowl. All right, that's it for the Swedish model. All right, the Swedish M38 at 100 yards. Not impressive. Five shots there. Tried using a little Kentucky windage. Kind of got some close together. Might have did too much. Uh, but after I cleaned the bore out in that, it looks a lot better. It's actually shiny in there. The gun may be worn out, or it just might not like this load. I may try changing the powder and see if I can get a better load worked up and maybe improve uh, with this rifle. But just, you know, as because like I said, the condition I got it in with the rust in the bore, uh, I just cleaned it and the bore looks a lot better and I don't think it's quite worn out. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. But something to work with and see if we can improve on it. 